Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create logo particle animation. Let's start into the video. Create a new composition. Rename it logos. For frame rate, I set 30 and duration 15. Click OK. Now, drag a logo into composition. Press S to adjust size. I scale it around 60. OK. Now, create new composition and rename it logo alpha. OK, click OK. Drag logo composition into logo alpha. And now, make sure you do not click on logo layer. Go to rectangle tool. For fill, set it to be white. And stroke, set it to be none. And double click on rectangle tool. Now, press P to set position. And move it here. Yeah around here about a logo and click on stopwatch to create new keyframe and move timeline around five seconds and drag here okay something like that and now go to effect and preset and search for top land okay put here Okay, for size, I set it around 80 and complexity, I set it 10. Okay, that is good. And then now go to track mat. If you do not see track mat, you can find here. Okay, and now track mat, select on alpha mat. Okay, that is good. Select on shape and pre-compose. Rename it shape. And move all attribute. Click OK. And then go to project panel and create new composition. Rename it logo inverted. OK. Click OK. And then now choose logo into composition and choose shape in here. And then now select on track map and choose alpha map inverted. Okay. Create a new composition and rename it logo stripe. Click OK and select logo alpha and go to edit. Select on duplicate or control D to duplicate layer. Okay, now select on the bottom layer and move backward around five frames. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that is good and go to track mat and select on alpha inverted. Now we can see like that. And we do not need outline. So go to effect and preset. Choose search for mini max. Okay, check here. And then select operation for minimum radius around two and channel choose alpha okay i said it just one okay that is good now go to project panel and create new logo and rename it emitter click ok and select logo strap into composition and then choose shape 
in composition and then select on alpha inverted okay that is good now create a new composition and rename it party call click ok and select emitter into composition right click and create new solid rename solid it party call click ok and go to effect and preset search for particular now we have in particular make sure emitter select on 3d okay go to particular again and for emitter tab choose layer emit layer emitter choose emitter and then set particle 500,000 yes it is good for velocity i set it around 25 and side random i set it around 100 yes and emitter side z set it zero now go to particle master for light i set it three and set set it zero and side i set it six and side random set it 100 okay sorry for velocity random i set it around 50 yep okay and now go to side overlay i set it second preset yes that is good now go to physics and air capsuline after position set it 300 that is good and go to rendering acceleration cpu for motion blur i choose uh, on yeah okay that is good now it's finished for particular go to effect and present and search for cc vector okay cc vector blur for tab choose it happen particular okay and amount set it around 50 and map soft set it 20 now go to sharpen and for sharpen i set it around 80 okay or 75 yes around here and then go to if I can press it, search for glow. For glow radius, I said it 50. Okay. For and then glow again. Apply to emitter and set it around 20. And intensity set it to okay that is good and now track logo inverted into okay that is good for me now create a new composition and rename it animation and click ok 
Now drag particular composition into animation composition and create a new solid. Rename it floor. Click OK and drag it under particle. And then go to effect and preset and search for fractanoid. Okay, this is fractanoid. Now check on 3D and rotation for X rotation, set it minus 90. Okay, and drag here. Okay, press S to scale and drag into something like this. Okay. Now, for noise tab, select on block. And for contrast, set it 200. And brightness, set it around 20. And then, complexity, set it only 3. That is good. Now, select on floor and pre-compose. Rename it floor and move all attribute. Select on particle layer, go to edit, duplicate, and then right click and search for transform, flip vertical. Okay, track here. That is good. Press S to scale and uncheck uniform and then minus around minus and 50 okay that is good drag it here and then now close the floor eye now go to new adjustment layer for new adjustment layer drag it here and then go to compound blur For compound blur, choose floor composition and then set it around 100. And then go to CC glass. For CC glass, on layer adjustment and select here, floor and softness 0 and high around 20 displacement around 40 and I go to direction blur and put on particle set it 90 and then here around yeah something like that okay after that, right click and new, go to camera, uncheck on zoom. Okay. Now check on logo particle to be 3D. Okay, that is good. Press P to set up position minus 1, 500. Okay, check on stopwatch and go to around here and then set it minus 11 0 0 okay that's good now quick preview okay now again move timeline here and select on camera and control c go to floor composition and then control v to paste camera here Okay, quick preview again. Okay, that's good. Now right click, news, new solid, rename it BG. Click OK. 
and then go to creating RAM creating RAM and select color switch color and then now set up color the same to logo and then move it to very deep color okay something like that and for here just set it more black okay so something like that okay it is it is okay yeah and then now press n to trim part press n here and right click trim compose to work area okay that is finished now if you want to change any logo just go to project panel and select on logo and change any logo you want for example i change to my logo the scale to the same size of the previous logo and close previous logo now i can change my logo automatically okay that is finished thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video please subscribe my channel thank you